All right, 1.3, representing a categorical variable with tables. Okay, we will start using some tables and make and, and, and describe, you can separate actually into two tables, two kinds of tables. Okay, so far so good. Representing a categorical variable with tables. <laughs> All right, so far so good. Okay, you know. Okay, Emma. okay. Now there are two questions that we have to answer. So, how can we represent categorical data in turbulent form? And how do this turbulent representation help us uh, to describe the categorical data? Now, there are two kinds of tables that you will learn. Okay, let's move on. So let's look at the example here. So the online survey, no, no copy first. No, you don't need to copy anything um, yet. Uh, online survey, again, a, a lot of surveys. Survey asks you like which which of the following superpower in that kind of all right? Following superpower would you like would you most like to have? Okay, we have invisibility, electricity, free time, super screen, that's right. Right? You see this these kinds of survey a lot, or your first day of class, teacher will ask you oh what kinds of superpower do you like? Okay, this is all kinds of data. We need all this data to analyze something. Okay, and here are data from a random sample of 50, 50 high school students who complete the survey. By the way, 50 high school students, what's this? Uh, no, no, no. Is this a variable or not? Yes or no? Is this a variable? Individual. Huh? Individual. Variable. Eh? Variable. Yes or no? Yes. Variable or not? Yes. Yes. No. No, no, no. 50, 50. Remember from yesterday's questions. Yeah, from yesterday's questions, they ask you, like, they, they ask you, you know, they, they do a survey and then they already told you a number. I forgot what the number is, 30. That is not a variable, okay? The actual number. That is not a variable, all right? Anyway, so again, a survey asks you, like, which kind of super product do you like? And then he's, here is the result, boom. All right, so we have a survey, okay? 50 students uh, say some people want free time, some people want telepathy, invisibility, free time, telepathy, blah, blah, blah. This is all the data, okay? Good data. Now, individual. What are the individuals? Some Let's compare. Hmm? Some and so are the those individuals. 50 students. The individuals will be the student who complete the online survey. Okay, this is like not this. All right, the individual is the student who complete the online survey. All right, variable. Um, yeah, Captain. Good job. If you if you answer correctly, I will add your. I call this class dojo. I will add your point to this class dojo, and then for your participation grade. Good. Shame. Good. Variable. What are the variables? The category. Types of power. Mm -hmm. The superpower preference. All these five. Good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Types of variable. So these are the variable, but what types of variable are they? Is this uh, categorical or quantitative? Categorical. Mm -hmm. Good job. Mm -hmm. All right, again, categorical is a name. The name, okay, the name of a variable. This is this is not a number, so this is obviously the name. So this is a categorical um, variable. So far, so good. Okay, now 
you, we are going to do something with this table. Um, how can we represent the distribution of this categorical variable? Okay, how can we analyze this table? Okay, this is something that we have to learn. So again, we have 50 students, this is, and this is their answer, this is their Google form, Google survey answer. Okay, now let's clean this table a little bit. Now let's change the table a little bit to, to be more clear, okay? All right, these 50 tables, there's one table that we have to know. Number one, frequency table. Copy this down. The frequency table gives the number of individual in each category. Number one, the first table. We only have two tables, okay, two tables. This is the number one, the frequency table. Okay. The more common, the more easiest table you can make in this data. Now, frequency that was easy, super straightforward, okay? So now let's clean this table a little bit using frequency table. How do we do that? Easy. Now, this is a frequency table, as you see, uh, using Excel. I will, I will teach you how to use Excel to make something like this. Super power preference. We have five, freeze time, is visibility, super strength, and telepathy. Frequency table, this is how you make a frequency table. You count. Okay, let's see. Fry. How many fry do we have? One fry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. So in your frequency table, pretty straightforward. Nine. Okay, you count. This is just frequency table. Just very straightforward. Free time. Let's do this. One. Two. Two. Okay, so data for two. Okay. So fifteen, 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 okay? Invisibility. One more. Five. <laughs> oh my god. Let's <laughs> see <laughs> <laughs> one more time. Invisibility. Five, one. Two, three, four, four, four. Five, 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 nine. Eight. Eight. Where are you? Eight. 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 Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, anyway, frequency table. Pretty straightforward. You count how many um, variables in here, all right? So, so on and so forth. This is your frequency table, okay? We use this, you can easily tell how many in fry, how many in free time. <clears throat> How many invisibility, how many strength, how many telepathy? Okay, frequency table. Very straightforward. Number two. So far, so good. Okay, you just count. That's it. The num that gives you the number of individual in each category. They tell you how many you see this big data, this big data, you can change that into this table, so it's much more clear. Okay? Good? Now, there's another one. Relative frequency table. 
rarity frequency table gives you the proportion percentage or the percent of individual in each category. Okay, copy this down first. This is the definition for number two table. We only gonna learn the two tables and then how can we find these two tables? Does anyone here know how to use Excel? Yeah, uh, a little bit. Okay. How to make a graph, do you know? Yes. Table, okay. We will learn that. Excel, super important if you go to, like you, you will still use it for some reason. Oh, we use TI only. Huh? TI found table. Uh, all right. Rarity frequency table, you see this is just a frequency table with a relative, okay? So relative frequency table, how do we make, how do we make a relative frequency table? Um, are we done? Good. Okay. Now, why do we even even need to use different kinds of table? Oh, you will, you will see. Now, we good? Now, how do we even make a relative frequency table? Again, that tells you the percentage. How many percent, how many percent are in fry? How many percentage in freeze time? How many percentage in all this? Now, percentage, well, if you know the basic, all right, we are going to find the relative frequency table. Okay, how many is in total? How many? 50. 50 in total. Now, if you want to find a percentage, like for example, if we have 50 students in here, how many boys, how many girls are in here, how many the percentage? Okay, I think you have a basic idea, right? So, we have all here. Oh, by the way, when you do the frequency table, make sure 9 plus 15 plus 7 plus 3 plus 16, all this should be 50. Okay. You, you count right so make sure everything should be 50. now in here in the relative frequency table you have to find a frequency table first then relative frequency table okay so now for your fry fry has nine people nine students uh choose fry so now if you are going to find a relative frequency table nine okay nine divide by the total which is uh, 0.18, which is how much percent? 18. 18%. Okay, one more. Freeze time. Freeze time has 15. So, 15 divided by 50 equals 50. Don't forget, you are going to divide the total number, total number of the student here. So it's 50. 15 divided by 50, which is 30, uh, 0 0.30, 30%. Okay, all right. I want you to try the invisibility. How do you, what is the percentage for invisibility? Too much. Good, okay. Mm -hmm. Seven divided by 50, all right, seven, right? Only seven, and then divide by how much in total, which is 14%, okay? Six. Too much. Oh. <laughs> Good, okay, all right. And then, 16, huh? 32. 32. Okay. This is just 50 students, okay? In, in your exam, this, um, this is like for, for convenience, okay? Sometimes they will say 30, 20, so you, you will have to calculate by yourself, okay? Again, relative frequency table. You have to find the frequency table first. You need to not find like how many in, in front, how many in freeze time, and then divide by the total number. Okay, to find the percentage, that's it. So you have two, two kinds of table, this table and this table, and depends on which one is more convenient for you. Okay, like for example, if you only have, for you, if you're doing like a student grammar, you will say, hey, whoa, how many people choose this food? Huh? Or how many people, um, is student grammar in Dozo's mouth? Excuses. 
台。你们应该要做什么 data 吧 ？Right？ 我不知道，我完全没有参加。我也是。我也是<笑>根本不想管那个。Anyway， you will， you will， you will have like you have to make some data tables like this， okay？ Frequency and relative. Relative, you just need to find the percentage divide by the、uh, total number. Okay, makes sense.、Mm. Good. All right. So, describing the、uh, category data, we have a frequency table and then we have a relative frequency table. Your goal for today, you have to describe the category code data representing frequency and relative frequency table. Now, let's let's oh.、Yeah. That's all you need to know for one point one point three. Okay, frequency you count, relative you divide by the total number. That's it. And then, so oh, tell me. So like for example, which one did the student choose the most? Which which superpower? Telepathy. Huh? Telepathy. Okay. How much percent? Thirty-two. Thirty-two percent. You can use this table because it has a it has the highest thirty-two percent. Or or. Looking at this table, which one the children choose the most? Telepathy again, same idea. You see, same. Doesn't matter which table do you choose. They tell you the same story. In AP statistic, you just need to you know look at the table and then tell is this a correct? Is this is this a true or not? Let's do the question together. Okay. Go. Tell me. Again, describing the data. Let me let me mute first. Frequency table. Yeah. Relative frequency table. Okay. Which of following statement about this data is true? You need to find the true one. Discuss with with your with your students. Well, with your With your peers, which one do you think is the true? Number one, the majority of the students choose telepathy as their preference, a、uh, preferred superpower. Yeah. Yeah. That's the answer, right? Hmm. The majority. Hmm. Majority has more than fifty. Oh. Hmm. Okay. 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 Which one is true? Think about it. Okay. 看图说故事 ，right? Look at the table and then tell me which one is true. Oh, one by one, 好了 The majority. When you see the majority, how much percent? Over than fifty percent. Okay. Look at the table. If we need a percentage in majority. No one has more over is over fifty percent, so A is wrong. B, almost three times as many students choose super strength. Okay, super strength over here as fry for their super power preference. True or false? Almost three times as many students choose super power strength as fry for their super power preference. Four. Why? Because it's because it has only six percent. Okay, so you see, in choose fry. Let's see fry. Fry is over here. Nine students choose fry. Okay, three times as many students choose their superpower. What does three times mean? Times three. Times three. Okay, so what do I what should I do? Huh? No. No. Times one. What's wrong with this? Oh, it says super strength as fly, not fly as super strength. Huh? Uh, that's opposite, right? Almost three times as many students、um, choose super strengths, choose super strength or super strengths right here, which is three, and then、um, as fly for their super power preference. Something wrong with here. Almost. Hmm. Think think. AP statistics the most difficult part will be will be this. Okay, looks correct, but something is wrong. A, not correct. B, 
Oh, super strength as fly, not super power. Super strength as fry, not super power. Good. Okay, so, so there is some wording over here that could confuse you. Okay, super strength as fry as super power. C. Nearly half of the student pick either fry or invisibility as their preference power. What's no. wrong with this? Or is this correct? It's wrong. Because no. none of it is over 50. Nearly half of a student pick either fry. Okay, let's 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 do this all together. Okay. Alright. Nearly half of a student pick either fry or invisibility as their preference uh, superpower. You have two ways to do it. Number one, nine plus seven equal to 16. 50 students divided by two equal to, is this even close? No, no. You should say, so nearly half of student, half of student means 25 student. A super person, right? If, we, if, if you add these two, this is 16 students. Not even close to 25, no. Yeah. Or percentage, 18% plus 14% equal to? 32. 32, not even close to 50. Okay, so wrong. D? Yeah. Exactly, 50% of the students choose either fry or telepathy. Okay, again, let's do this. Either. either so. Choose either fry or telepathy as their preference power. True or false? Exactly 50%. Uh, Wrong or correct? Yeah, 50 is correct. correct. Yeah. Bingo. 18%, you have two ways to do it. Again, you can either use frequency table or relative frequency table. 9 plus 16 equal to 25. Good, 25 students. Or 18 18% plus 32% equal to 50 50% 50, 50 okay look at the table and we'll tell you a story so D is correct good invisibility is one of the more popular choice of preference uh, superpower invisibility is 7 of an org which is 14% again use either two tables to think about oh if this if, if this is better or not it's your your choice it doesn't matter 14, no, okay, it's not even close. So far so good? Mm. All right, so how about this one? You do it by yourself. So blah, 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 this is doing a survey again, no risk, a slight risk, a moderate risk, great risk, can say drug unfamiliar. This is all the frequency table. Okay, again, look at the table to tell a story. Okay, the frequency table summarizes the students' response. I, you don't even really need to like read all this. Okay, again, just look at the table and see which one is true or false. Which of the following statement is not, not, which is false, which is false? So, okay, calculate by yourself. Your equals is false. All right, there's one wrong. Which one is wrong? First thing first, you probably notice. Right? You should add all the numbers together. That's why you need a calculator here. Let's see. What is the total number? Okay. They don't tell you this. What did you get? Uh, okay. Guys, always. If you see these kinds of problems, first thing first, you add all the numbers together to find, to, to see first, okay? So, you add all the numbers, the total will be 2252. Two. Now, what's next? You can either do two things. Okay, no. 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 That's one line one answer. C. I think it's C. Because C is 56% if it's add. You can you can make a frequency table. Okay. Now 
if you make a frequency table, 501 divided by 2252, that's how much percentage? Let's put a percentage in here so we so we understand more. 501 divided by 2252, that's... Huh? Oh, okay. 22 percent. That's 22 percent. Number one. Number two. Number two. 34 percent. 30. 35. Yeah, there's 0. 0.7. 35. Okay, let's do 35. Moderate. This is also each one now, okay? Relative. 17.8, so it's 18. 18? 18 percent more. 377 divided by 2252. 15. 15. Oh, come on. 191 divided by 2252. That's 8 percent, okay? All right, let's get ready. Which one? Using all this to find which one is not correct. Number one, over one, one half of a student responds to slight risk. Sometimes you will say, well, one half is like one, how much percent? The, uh, 30, 30 percent, okay, let's say 30 percent. Over 30 percent of a student response to slight risk. Slight risk, 35 percent, bingo, good. Oh, but this is four, right? Huh? So, C might be right, but if it's or, it's only one one choice, right? Hold on a second. Okay. 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 More than twice, okay, twice, twice, as many students respond slight risk as great risk. So, slight risk is right here, okay, great risk is what? Slight risk and no risk, sorry, slight risk and no risk, almost, almost twice. Huh? You're right? Side risk and grade. Oh, yeah, sorry. Side risk. Second one. Second yeah, one. Okay. Good, good. Almost twice. Well, um, do quick math. No, no, seven. Seven, five, four. No, almost. 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 Okay, correct. Okay, correct. Oh, not. Okay. A majority of students say that there was no risk. Well, let me do this one by one. So, A is A is A is correct. So, uh, thirty-four point thirty-four point thirty-four percent is correct. A is correct. B B uh, more than twice. So two uh, three seven seven times two seven five four seven five four, which is very like very close. Okay. A majority of students say that there was no risk or slight risk. Is this a true or false? Uh, true. 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 A majority of a student, so the majority, which is almost like 50% of a student, say. Yes, yeah, over. I think it's 56%. Well, when you do these kinds of problem, you have two ways to do it. Okay. One, you can use a percentage we, we write here. Two. You just add a number, you, you can use frequency table to find the majority. 2252 two, divided by 2 equal to? 它上面要写, eh? 1, 1, 4, 3, 3, 2, 4, eh? 2, 6. Oh, 2, 6. It's fine. Yeah, right? 1, 1, 2, 6. So, you add these two numbers together. Uh, no risk, and, no risk, that risk. No risk is this. Side risk is this. You add these two, what's that? It's mm -hmm. over. Right? It's, it's over. Good. Good questions. Sometimes if you see or, or, let's add, please, you take a note. If you see the or, you need to add, 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 add. Okay? So, C is wrong. We can, we can, we can look at the rest. Over 10% of student response can say. Wait, C is wrong? Mm -hmm. Oh, or. Mm -hmm. Not support, okay? Over 10% of student response can say. Drug, um, a drug I'm familiar. 10%, again, let's look at a, let's look at relative, uh, relative. 
So How much percent? Eight. 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 Hmm? eight. So oh, sorry, sorry, yeah, sorry, 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 right, sorry. Right. sorry. C should be right. Sorry, C should be right. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Should be right. Yeah. sorry, sorry. Yeah. C should be right. Sorry. Yeah. Over ten percent of student response uh, can say and drop unfamiliar. So let's look at the relative frequency table here. How much? Eight percent. You see, eight percent. It's not even close to over ten percent. So D is wrong. Okay. Understand? So, so let's run, and then the final one, the uh, proportion of a student who responds no risk is about 0.22. Again, sometimes you really have to find a relative frequency table. So let's look at, let's, let's go back very fast. No risk, no risk, no risk, how much? Ah, uh, good, okay. So it's the correct. Yeah, okay. D. Okay, good. All right, answer D, okay, no problem, again. Sometimes you will just have to use frequency table and sometimes relative. That's it. All right, final takeaway again. How can we represent categorical data using no. I, no. frequency or relative. table or relative frequency table? Okay. okay. How do the tabular representation help us to describe categorical data? Well, counts and the relative frequency table and tells you a per, uh, percentage and proportion of a categorical data reveal information. You see, just just look at the table and then tell which one's true, which one's false. This is some. This is um, this is today's homework. Like you have to see the table first and then see and then tell. Hey, this person is not over ten percent, and this person is not even half to tell a story. Okay, that's basically A B C testing. All right. That's it for today. So, as a ticket before the today's question will be today's question will be what kind of table is this? That's here. What kind of table is this? Let me show you. What do we call this table? Relative frequency table. Okay. Put your answer in there. Okay. Smart. 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 Or or or. That's right. Okay, before we go, please answer these questions. Before we go, okay? Today's homework, there are four questions, only four. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, sorry, three. Even, even, even fewer. Okay, three questions I want you to, want you to answer. Make sure you write some notes, guys. Make sure you write some notes. And that's it.